an engine note. Yes. As a Jaguar. What's going on YouTube? One LEX from here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. It's going to be a very fun day. I'm out here at Apex Motor Club. It is a really cool private track that's just going through all sorts of changes. You're going to see some great content from drones, from a car, from Kai Goddard, my pro driving instructor, and all sorts of fun that you can have with this Jaguar SVR. Very intimidating track. Come along, let's have some fun. Part of the reason why I really like coming and doing one-on-one -on -one stuff is because the big classes are great and all, they give you a solid foundation but there's something extra you get when you work one-on-one -on -one with someone like Kai Goddard. So check out what we got. The data is what's amazing. Yeah, so what we did here is uh, your lap. You accomplished a lot in about four or five short laps, right? Yeah. But uh, what we did is we took your lap and what we do in a lot of newer drivers is I'll set a, a lap yeah. to overlay the data and we'll just look at what we're doing. So I know we're focusing on and working on turn 12 through here. So we're looking at pace. We're looking at your speed down through turn one. I think one of the biggest things we're working on is braking and cornering speed through the yes. chicane down here. For sure. On top of speed and split differences or times, uh, we also look at distance. So if you see the blue line here, okay. sometimes it's worth taking the shorter route, right? Yeah. Uh, especially if it's a slower corner, and a lot of that pays off over here in turn seven. This is something next time you're out here, there's little tricks. Sometimes if you take 10, less uh -huh. in a corner that you're going roughly the same speed otherwise yeah. that's why we look at distance as well but data really helps uh with the whole cause and effect of this whole thing well it helps me see like because you can see the turn you can see the speed you can see the braking and, and what i'm doing yeah data shows me that being an engineer it's where you can geek out a little bit and go oh that makes sense because some people learn by video some people learn by reading i kind of for this need all of them put together to go oh Oh, this yeah. is what I'm doing. Now, we take this on another day to the next level and we can analyze throttle position, brake pedal pressure. Um, uh, yes. <laughs> there's 32 different channels, gear selection, steering angle, okay. uh, lateral and longitudinal G-forces. We can get all kinds of crazy. But this right here um, on a day like today is perfect. Okay, there we go. Little brake, trail, and throttle. Oh, felt that. That was good. Nice turning. I like that. <laughs> Doing it all holding that very expensive camera here. <laughs> uh, brakes. No throttle. Not enough. Too early. Oh my god, this fly. <laughs> Never get in a race car with a fly in it. <laughs> Only here. <laughs> Definitely go later, but <laughs> that's okay. Nice. <laughs> the brakes to me feel back. Uh, they feel better, but there's still a lot of travel that wasn't normally there. It's usually a nice hard pedal at first. Yeah. So not quite feeling confident with them. But I'm also not using any paddles or anything right now. Right. Just kind of feeling the car getting chased by a drone. He's out there with it? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Got a drone. I can feel that lift on this turn because this is an off-camber turn. Something that's really cool about Apex is this building are all members cars and just look at the spread here <laughs> it's 
That's what's so awesome about tracks like these. You can just park a car and like, you know what, I'm gonna fly out here and go race. And then, well, take it off your shelf here and go at it. All right, so my day out here at Apex Motor Club is done. I had a fantastic time with Kai Goddard. We really pushed the Jag. Uh, we found a few things that we, you know, isn't the greatest for the car. Uh, the brakes, unfortunately, started to go. Uh, the, actually, not the brakes themselves. It was actually the fluid. I don't think there's dot five in the car. So, um, yeah, they got a little hot. The fluid did, and then we lost some brakes. So, uh, if you guys track an SVR, check which brake fluid you actually have in there because that will make a huge, huge difference in the longevity of actually racing out on the track. We, we pushed it decently hard, but uh, not to the point where it should have had this issue. So, is what it is. Felt the weight of the car. Um, definitely not a track car. Uh, I know people that do, and I probably will track it again, but not uh, to this level. Uh, I'm actually surprisingly a good bit faster, and uh, the car just can't handle it. But it was stupid fun. It is super strong, and uh, yeah. With that, I hope you all enjoy this video. Thank you, Phil, for coming out. Legendary Phil or uh, Desert Fox. Check him out. He's got the FPV drone. Did some really cool stuff out here on very short notice. So, again, thank you. And uh, with that, I hope you all have a good one. I'm out. Mm -hmm.